In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a fly through 3D text effect inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. So I already have a timeline open and a B-roll waiting. But the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our clip. And we can do this by hitting option on the keyboard, then left click on the clip and dragging it one layer above. Now we're going to disable the stop clip by hitting D on the keyboard and making sure the playhead is over the clips, we'll go to the fusion page. And since our top clip is disabled, it will affect only the bottom clip. Now we'll go straight to the Fusion page. And if you're not familiar with Fusion, it's basically a compositing software, meaning that in here we can do all sorts of special effects. And Fusion is a node-based software, meaning that each one of these little rectangles here represents an effect or an action. In this case, this node here represents our clip. And this node here is where everything we do in between here is being rendered. And we have many kinds of nodes here, like a background node, a text node, a merge node, mask nodes. But today we're going to be using 3D nodes. So let's close Inspector for a little bit. Now we're going to grab a 3D text node and put it right here and a renderer 3D. And we're going to put it right here. Now let's connect the output of our 3D text into the input of our renderer 3D, like this. Now we can close the media pool and we're going to make it two viewers by clicking on this button here. Now we're going to drag the text to the left viewer and we can see that this 3D space appeared. Now we're going to click on the text, we'll bring back Inspector and we're going to write our text, like this. I'm going to adjust the screen a little bit so we can see the text better. Now what really makes the 3D effect happen is the extrusion and we can find it right here. So we're going to click on this arrow and here where it says extrusion depth, we're going to increase the thickness of our text like this. Another cool thing to do is come to shading and uncheck this button here where it says use one material. We're gonna come to bevel material and we're gonna change the color. We're gonna make it a little bit grayer like this. Now is when the magic happens. We're gonna connect this little output of this render 3D here into this blue input of our media one like this and boom the effect happened. Now we're gonna make a few adjustments to our text. We're gonna come to text and we're gonna set the anchor point to the center of the text by clicking on this button here and on this button here. Now everything we do with the text will happen starting right from the center. So now we're gonna increase the size like this and here on transform where it says rotation we'll scroll the Y wheel to the left like this. Now making sure we're at the beginning of the clip we'll come to translation and here on the Z wheel we're gonna set a keyframe. Now we'll go to the end of the clip and we're gonna scroll this wheel to the right all the way until the text disappears, like this. Now it's time for the final touch. I know that this effect still looks a bit flat, so in order to really get the 3D effect popping, we're gonna come to the media one, click on settings, and here on channel, where it says alpha, we're gonna change it to luminance, like this. Now we really get this effect going. Let's go back to the edit page and let's see how it looks. And we can see this transparent stripe appeared. And to remove that, we're gonna go back one frame and remove that last frame. Now we're gonna enable our top clip again and we're gonna make it two seconds longer. We'll also cut the first part of the clip until the end of the bottom clip, like this. Now let's see how it goes. And that's how we make a fly through 3D text effect inside DaVinci Resolve. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn more DaVinci Resolve effects, make sure to check out this video showing you on the screen right now and I'll see you there.